this is just a follow up to the previous video on Luminar 4 where we tried a variety of images and some cases Luminar failed to detect or replace the sky. This was one of those and I have put these same images. In fact, I have two of these and this is a cropped version of another one that we will look at. So for example, if I take this image, I go into my plugin extras, transfer to luminar. Now when I transfer this to luminar from Lightroom, it opens up the raw file as is. So if we go into the creative mode, the sky replacement, it does show the replacement, but it's obviously totally unusable. So we just cancel out of this and we'll just export this as a DNG file. In fact, I'll also do the other one. We'll just export both these files to a DNG pictures folder and I'll put it along with my JPEGs. So I have the same files in DNG format now. So add a single edit image. Let's check the same image out first. And once it detects the raw, it discards the embedded preview and you see the same image. Now we still have the sky selection, but now it works. It works like a charm. There is obviously some issue with interpretation on the raw files in the Nikon format. Whatever the reason, it's obviously some bug. And now we can go back and because it's a raw file, although a different format, the DNG, we can process it exactly the same way. We can go into our AI enhance, pull this up, enhance the sky, enhance the structure, oops too much, but again you can see it works and it works great. Now we will just look at the other image, go back into the grid mode, the library here and okay this was the other image, it is a pheasant tailed jacana. It does show a sky selection, but as we saw in the earlier video. It doesn't work. Let's just reset out of this and we'll take the DNG format for the same file. Open this up. It looks at the embedded preview because Lightroom has placed that in the DNG. Once it finds the actual image, it's okay. So let's say blue sky 3. And although it's picked up the blues from the feather, it works. You can always mask that out like in some of the other images, but in the original Nikon RAW file, it did not work. Now let's try one other thing. We'll just export this one image, not both to let us say a JPEG, I will use one of my shutterstock presets and if we edit this JPEG file now, we 
we have the selection we can plug in whatever the result is very similar the sky is bleeding through here but if you get a raster image format like a jpeg or a tiff if we go into light it's you don't find the raw options and you cannot recover highlights or change shadows and so on so if you want to use the ai features of luminar it's best to convert your raw file into a dng and then try the same here and of course there are other issues like with any software for example if i look at my rooftop images from today now this is a black kite it's a full frame uh, like any other in luminar that i have because i haven't processed anything within luminar and kept it there because it's so simple to redo it okay now i do not want this in the background so i'll go to the canvas where we also have lens geometry and we can turn it on i choose the erase tool and it takes a while you just increase the brush size and make sure we have enough room there click on erase and it will happen and we are done now this is a image a full frame from a d850 if we look at the info it's a 61 mb file so it's not a small file and it's a full frame but watch what happens here if we go into layers it's created a new layer and if we go back into essentials and look at the light we've lost all the raw processing options this is effectively a raster image where you don't have the raw data to actually do much with it there are other similar nuances but my recommendation would be to do all your processing first and only then try erasing stuff because that will convert it to a plain raster which is not very desirable and that's the same reason why i recommend editing a dng in luminar rather than exporting to a raster format and then editing that so till next time just remember the work around export as a dng or convert to a dng adobe has a free dng converter which anybody can download and use the link is in the description and have fun